Liz, I want to see this little girl's picture. I want to see Savannah. I, I don't necessarily want to see evil stepmommy and grandmother. Look at this child. Run dead. Forced to carry huge logs as she ran. Her arms covered in lacerations found by the hospital. Round and around and around. In the last hours, the bus driver breaks down in court because the bus driver knew the little girl wasn't supposed to have candy because of some bladder condition. And she, the, the bus driver is the one that basically rats her out, tells the stepmother and the grandmother she had a candy bar. That poor bus driver breaking down in tears on the stand in front of the jury. What do we learn in court about smoke breaks? To J.T. Tyson, morning anchor, W.E.R.C. J.T., what do we learn in court? Well, thank you, Nancy, for uh, having me back. I'm telling you what, this woman is a beast. She's evil. And what we learned today is she has no regard for this poor little nine-year-old granddaughter of mm. her. The 911 tapes were heard, and the jurors heard all the different testimony about what the bus driver and this Gerard woman went through and, and the discussions. What we heard today was that allegedly she said, give me a smoke in the background while the 911 dispatcher was on the phone with the stepmother. Can okay, wait, 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 wait. So they're calling 911, and the little girl is actually, this is after she's been crawling on all fours. This yes. child, they're in the neighborhood, crawling on all fours, asking to stop. And the grandmother and the stepmother won't let her stop. She falls dead there. She's laying there at the grandmother's feet. And they call 911. And are you telling me, JT, that while they're on the phone with 911, they're asking for a smoke? It's unbelievable. I can't even fathom it myself. Could you imagine if your child was laying there? Uh, you would be freaking out, panicking, trying to do what you could to help that child. This grandmother was more concerned about catching a smoke than she was helping her granddaughter. 